Hello everyone. Welcome to another informative episode on White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. Are you interested in planting beets? Today I'm going to be showing you how to grow your beet and care for it. This is what a beet seed actually looks like. But this is a cluster of seeds, so there are up to four seeds in here. And beets are to be direct sown outdoors when the soil temperature is 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Because this is a cluster of seed, the coating is pretty hard, so it's best to soak your beet seeds before you plant them. And if your temperature is 50 and above, then the beads will germinate within five to eight days. But if the temperature is below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, then it can take up to three weeks for your beads to germinate. Beads require full sun, but you may notice that I have a container here that I'm going to be planting in. And this is because I cannot demonstrate outdoors because it is winter so beets are to be planted in fertile soil so this here contains compost and castings that's what i am sowing the seeds in with a bit of soil but if the soil is not very fertile beets can tolerate low fertilizer your soil, however, must be loose and well-drained. You want to be careful, though, of over-fertilizing your beets because this will increase foliage on your beets, but it will cause the size of your beets to be small. So you don't want to give it too much nitrogen. So you're going to sow your beet seeds half an inch deep. One to two inches apart. And the space between your rows must be a foot or 12 inches. You want to thin your beets when they are three to four inches all and you want to make sure that you have at least four inches between each beat. You don't want to disturb the root of your beat and so when you're thinning it you're just going to snip off the beads that you do not want instead of rooting them up because if you do that you're going to disturb the root of the plants that are going to remain. Water it weekly, giving it an a inch of water. And beets need to be kept moist regularly. So in order to trap moisture, it is good to mulch around your beets. Beets also have shallow roots, so you have to be careful with them. Okay, so this is how you plant beet and this is what the finished product look like the leaves can be used for salad or steamed all of the beet from the plant to the roots is edible you can use it in smoothies as well and some pests that affect beets are flea beetle leaf miners leaf hoppers mosaic virus and others beets can be harvested two months after they have been planted if you allow your beets to get larger than a tennis ball then they can become very hard and woody when you're going to harvest your beets you just want to clear away the soil from around the beets and hold it close to the root of the plant and gently pull it up. So this is how you grow and care for 
your beads. It does not require a frequent fertilizer, but it does require a reasonable amount of sunlight. So if you enjoy this video and you find it informative, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on your notification for more updates. You can leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.